we go uh, Ubisoft next. Gordy, um, bring up something that makes us cringe, would you please? <laughs> something oh, that did, makes you cringe? Yeah, did, let's talk Ubisoft. Do you have anything Ubisoft? that would make us like, that's mm, awful? Ubisoft. Ew, Ubisoft. I'm thinking he doesn't. I don't. You didn't bring that up? You didn't bring up the awkward dancing and smiling during the announcement. I did not. Of I, <laughs> murder. I, you know, generally speaking, I didn't want to see that again. <laughs> Gordy just put the kibosh on watching that ever again. Um, what do you got? You look enthralled. Uh, oh, I was just reading the chat there. Uh, it said somebody was trying to donate, but Twitch and PayPal aren't getting together. So, somebody was trying. Sorry you to hear know. that. <laughs> uh, so let's kick. We'll, we'll kick it off with uh, the one that everybody wants to talk about in chat there, and that's a uh, fractured but whole. Oh fuck! Because yeah. I know there's probably a couple people in this room who are excited about that. At right. least one. I'm always excited about a fractured butthole. So. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, okay, so start. I just finished Stick of Truth. Oh, really? Yeah, but yeah. did you like it? Oh, my God, yeah, dude. I loved it. Did they, now, is it packaged together? What's the deal with that? So here's they're the gonna, deal. They're going to, yeah, they said they're going to give it to us. This is the reason why I'm a little salty because I just bought the backwards compatibility and finished it like right. two days before. They're like, boom, if you get, if you buy the pre order fractured butthole, mm-hmm. then you get an, a remastered version of Stick of Truth. Yeah, and, sorry. Uh, and I was like, but I just finished it. And I couldn't get any of the achievements because did, it did you, did glitched out. Did you get all the Chimpoko Mon? No. no. Because I couldn't get any achievements. So they didn't. Gotta buy it. I didn't give mm. two shits about oh. finding all the Chimp Pokemon. Mm. Sorry, um, buddy. I'm very excited about this. Mm. Uh, probably in my top three of E3. I'm more excited for this one um, than I was. With. Stick of Truth was great. Uh, it just felt like, uh, after a while, it felt like a bunch of South Park episodes like put into one. Mm-hmm. This one is taking some of the ideas from the episodes, obviously, like um, Coon and Friends. Yeah. But uh, they're, they've got a whole new story. Like, mm-hmm. This is something completely And it's different. funny because this actually takes place the next day yeah. after Stick of Truth where they just decide to stop playing. They just playing. move on. They <laughs> stop. They're like, okay, let's play superheroes now. And I'm like, that's that's, that's brilliant. Yeah. I love it. Because that's the video game world. Like yeah. one day we're like, hey, I'm not playing Titanfall anymore. Yeah. <laughs> and you don't. Yeah. yeah. Um, super excited about this. Um, they Actually, Ubisoft didn't have much for me except for two things. That was one. Mm-hmm. Uh, but we'll talk about they had the Star Trek VR experience, which that's- was... Yeah, they had for honor. Well, God, let me get to my thing. Oh shit! I didn't know you were gonna <laughs> say that. Yeah, of course I'm gonna say that. That's my hype. That's my that's number my one game. game. That's my hype. Game. Yeah, uh, it can't we'll, be your we'll game. get there. Uh, Star Trek <laughs> VR. Mm-hmm. Which yeah. you know, this had like a whole presentation. They with did like all these. Lavar Burton Star was like, Trek oh, I can't and... really actually see because I'm blind. Okay. Okay. On account of he's the, like, take a look, Lord 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 funny joke that's a sick reference bro oh, yeah right. everybody that's knows a, that you're sick a little reading your brother for you guys don't take my word for it <laughs> um i don't know i uh i'm just not a star trek i'm not a star trek guy I, I, uh, plus the gra- the visuals of this are very is. underwhelming but um, um he's aging well though is he yeah, yeah look at him right. yeah, awesome. yeah, yeah. oh no he looks great and he's still just as excited like this is the first time he got his eyes back from <laughs> having to wear that visor. <laughs> he, like, he like legitimately is the dude like he took he's got to go back like, he really in. is like oh look yeah. at this what if what if secretly you're playing as Gordy LaForge because you're wearing the headset <laughs> like that's like that's the and uh, <laughs> it's funny that he took off his visor in Star Trek to put on another visor yeah. in real life <laughs> visor exception whoa uh, Jerry Ryan's ugly if I can just say uh, after watching the OC she I don't trust her fir- anymore she has two first names so I automatically don't trust her she's also yeah. S- Sonya Blade in that awful uh, oh, web series yeah boom bone bonus yeah. points so. <laughs> <laughs> um so yeah I'm, I'm just not a star trek guy i'm like i like i watched the original series and after that not at all are so. you a watch dogs 2 fan no i'm not i was a watch dogs fan so so what do pretty, you think about watch dogs 2 it looks pretty interesting now i don't uh all intents and purposes it looks much better than the first it one. does i'm not getting a lot from the there's a lot going on in this cinematic trailer but there's not enough to tell it's me foggy yeah there's just not the a, problem really is is it just looks they're like about they're to. trying to skin assassin's creed because now they've added in all these parkour things and it looks just like a I mean, modern I mean, day assassin's right creed with that. I, mean, like that's, a, I like the google yeah. It's a cardboard there. It yeah. seems more like this one's more about getting around uh, via parkour than you know the first one. You know where you just get in a vehicle. Well, and you just yeah. yeah. But you see like Google Grand cardboard and selfie sticks, and you see drones, and yeah. it's like, I don't know. This game's gonna feel dated soon, I think. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's not. I never played through Watch really Dogs. Once I played the first. One. I didn't even play the first one. Now I heard the first one had just had tons time. of fundamental issues with it. Like a lot of people were like really salty about the first one, and because of it, they said they won't even buy this one, no matter how good it is. Like, the thing is, is I didn't follow. I didn't follow the hype. I didn't follow Watch Dogs. So you just, just played it. I, going in I blind. just I just put it in and played it blind. I was like, this is fucking sweet. Cool. I, was like, I'm I mean, that's probably the way to do it. Yeah. Uh, if you did follow the hype, it would have been 
a letdown on account of so much was cut out of the final build. Yeah. And I think that's, that's what like I a hear. lot of like undelivered Peter Molyneux esque oh, promises. Yeah. Oh, Molyneux yeah. is like pulling the strings behind it. He's like, cut everything out. <laughs> 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 um, you can't talk to the dog. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, this didn't do much for me. And, and if, unless anyone has anything in the chat, they didn't want to talk about. Didn't they make about. it a point to show dog a dog in this trailer? I don't know. I think they made it a point to I actually didn't watch dog. this whole trailer. This is the most of this trailer I've seen. You yeah. can literally watch a dog. I've watched it. It's just, it's just painful. <laughs> cinematic like yeah that's the problem it doesn't show anything in the cinematics like the less i start to truth be told i would have thought that gordy would have loaded up the gameplay trailer but uh you know no no no. (laughs) (laughs) um but anyway uh moving on to the next thing and this was cool so they announced trials of the blood dragon Mm -hmm. and i don't to my knowledge this is the first time this had ever happened at an e3 where they announce a game and it's available then it's available to buy uh and i to some degree i mean like uh fallout shelter didn't uh well, shelter, wasn't, they were like download right now wasn't oh, the original true. halo wars didn't they do that with the original one did they i don't know i think they i thought That's they did point. i couldn't mm. remember but um I, among other things <laughs> so that's rocks i want these action figures too this i've been playing through this it's really cool uh-huh. albeit obviously trials levels of difficulty i love trials and um uh, uh triston has already beaten it oh. and said it's like pretty short so, but I, for a fifteen dollars price pad, yeah, I was say, you know, like what are you gonna do? Right? You know, but it's very eighties, <coughs> and you know I can smell that. Somebody's so. already beaten it. See, like eh, I don't know. I want to. Well, I wanna, here's a, I want a hard game. Like, but the thing is, I'm not saying. Oh, that, but that's that sounded a, really rude. I didn't mean. That's but the thing. That's the but thing with trials, though, that you're gonna go a, back through. But Tristan's like yeah. the in the top like three hundred trials players in all of oh, the is he? world. Yeah, he's oh. incredibly good at these games. So, which makes me hate him that much more. Some of those levels are pull your hair out, frustrating. Yeah. Uh, it's funny because I was looking at the like top 500 people in the world playing trials and pff, try some like 312. I was like, man, fuck off. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Can't beat any of these. Yeah. Um, I think it's really cool though. Like this just started off as like basic mechanics, right? Like somebody created a game and like, oh, look, I can make a motorcycle go over some jumps. Mm-hmm. And then they're like, now. Hey, people seem to dig it. So then and they do the second one. Pumping out yeah, weird and now it's got stuff. like a weird story to it, and it's got like all these cool graphics and backgrounds and commercials. Well, it's, I mean, and it's, it shows it's you in how the Blood Dragon universe all of a sudden. And Blood Dragon, yeah, one Blood of the Dragon's coolest cool. fucking games ever made. Super cool. But it's like let's take a very basic idea for a game and just keep building yeah. on it, as opposed to like trying to deliver and failing on and, promises. Right? Yeah, failing the same course over. Um, and over. This is one Gordy wanted to talk about. He wanted to showcase I'm just Steep. Gonna, yeah. Um, I, now this is something I have zero knowledge. It looks interesting. Um. Although, talk to us, Gordy. Mm-hmm. Give it lay, lay it on me, Raiden. Um, I don't know that much. I just you know watch this trailer. He's like, I don't know uh, either. Gen- generally, <laughs> it's it's just like an extreme sports game. Uh, and at first, it didn't catch my eye, but I I started watching uh, this specific trailer and some of the features that the game will have. Carbon, which he'll show cool in a second borders. when he kind of freezes <laughs> yes. the camera here in a second. Yeah. Cool. Um, but yeah, I thought back to Cool Borders. Carve it! And, yeah. as, and Tricky and all these games. And I was like, oh my God, you know what? I had so much fun. They were fun. Yeah. Playing those games. Tricky, listening to Tricky my music. was the best one ever. Hello. And this one has some features. Though, Tim has flat. a question. Tim has a question. Uh, is this VR? No, I but don't. it would be. Oh, this would be amazing. Oh, like, right? if you this put this game VR, on VR, and I'm like, how could this you, blew my mind. How could you be sure they're not going to release this VR? Because I, I would stand in front of my air conditioner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, uh, it does look cooler than I initially thought, Gordy. So that's yep. true. Um, oh, smack. But you know, I don't know. I probably won't buy Man, it. Man, your legs would break. Yeah, I mean, it's too bad it's not a snowboard. <laughs> your legs, but maybe, still. but this guy's legs are... Does it have snowboards, or is it all just skiing? Skiing, snowboards, uh, squirrel suits, and see there's a squirrel Down. suit going right by. Oh, and nice. And then that. And you can Base like coordinate with your. I hope it has like realistic stuff where like you can and land shit. and like uh, like compound fracture your leg. Yeah. And you have to be like airlifted <laughs> you have to get out. Airlifted out. Yeah. Be so, <laughs> or you get frozen up there and then wolves come and, and eat you, you at night. Yeah. yeah, and you can't play the game ever again if the, you die. Yeah, it just locks out your whole Xbox or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for six months you can't play. Uh, <laughs> now, I don't care about this, so I don't want to talk about it much because Later. I want to. I oh, really looks cool. I really want to get into what I'm most hyped for. So this game really just grabbed my titties and just ran with it at last E3 and they've mm-hmm. been quiet ever since and now For Honor has shown off more stuff mm-hmm. a release date next year Alphas year. are coming out mm-hmm. and you even said okay this looks cool I will yeah. play the shit out of that game uh, you were, I mean like you were like right on board like, oh. the second you watched it you're like I will take it I've always wanted to know if a Viking can beat a samurai or whatever they can't um, they and, can <laughs> they can't but uh, dude as we watch in the trailer they can very easily destroy samurais like oh. <laughs> little paper people I mean yeah it's completely a, a, a out of context but the whole thing looks great Gordy did you not download a gameplay video again it's not historically accurate (laughs) 
No, it's okay. This is a good trailer, though. Um, so For Honor is probably my number one game of E3. I'm so excited about it mm-hmm. because... It was your number one game of last year, too. Yeah, because no. it brings back <laughs> feelings of Bushido Blade. Uh, mm-hmm. One hit, one kills. You know, you got to strategically block and impair your attacks, samurais. It kind of looks like how yeah. I was hoping um, Arise would be a little bit. When uh-huh. it came sure, out. sure, and, sure. And um, this, this, looks, this looks good. I do like the stances. I appreciate that. Yep. I appreciate mm-hmm. the low, very Bushido Blade. The low, high, medium blocking. A very, you know, rock, paper, scissors. Let's do this. And uh, how many people online at one time? Eight? Uh, n- well... I think eight per team, I or maybe it, it's four. It was, it was four I think four it's four v four. I think it's four v four. Yeah, you're last right. Year. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Four v four. Yeah. But the story mode, the story campaign, however they're going to do it, is completely co-op or split screen co-op. And each one gets its own story. Uh, from yeah. what I understand, yeah, yes. One. And they showed off uh, like 15 minutes of the Viking story, which is cool. Um, I don't know if they get their own story or if they're all pieces twine. of I a main pieces, story. Twine. Yeah, yeah. No, I thought that's be. what they said that mm-hmm. they were going to have three split, you know, basically three campaigns, three that narratives that kind of yeah. go into one, maybe. Yeah, around four, around four to five hours each. Uh, that's what they were pushing for. Uh, oh, question okay. in chat, sure. Mike. I think from last year they showed that there is AI yeah, there is online AI. to go with it because oh. I think there's like bots and stuff. So yeah, there's there's complete AI fodder. They're yeah. very easy to kill, like one hit, and then when you like square up with an actual with player, player that's the then point. it's all yeah. like it just zooms in on you guys and you have to like parry each other's attacks right you have to like really be strategic and okay they're attacking from the left i got a block from the left and now yeah. i'm going to attack from the, the right or whatever but it's a it's very cinematic like when you watch like a sword fighting movie and two guys yeah. interlock like you don't typically see a guy just get stabbed from the side and then yeah. somebody moves on like it's you versus that other player and it's cool because the whole battle's going on around you right. and like oh, it's, but it's, that, it's that's immersive what the, that's, that's what, what you're looking bots. for yeah I, I mean with other people i don't see a reason that like you know, if Jared locks up with Adam, then I just walk over and stab Jared. I'm like, <laughs> and, well, actually, and they showed that can, in some. You can do that. You can have you know <laughs> yeah. one on three. And one. they did yeah. show that in some. Um, uh, they did. They actually had a playable alpha, very closed alpha for a small amount of players mm-hmm. about six months ago. There's a ton of gameplay. I and they yeah. and they released some gameplay, and a lot of it is very much the strategy is it's okay. The, let's team up on let's this get one two guy, on one. Yeah. You know, and then it be. But you can still beat. You know, take out this guy, and then you get a good critical hit on this guy. You could be so, a better yeah. swordsman. Yeah, legitimately, yeah. Literally, so yeah. yeah. Oh my god, I could talk about this game for another hour. But this is my yep. game of the the whole conference. Uh, well, there's another one. This I'm has been my most hyped game for at least over a year now. So. Please get it on Xbox. Yeah. I'll get it on Xbox. Okay. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. It is on PC, which would be best. But I mean, we'll well, maybe on. they'll have crossplay. You know, if they Xbox. know what's what. I'll get it on Xbox because I only have like three games. <laughs> they know what's what. For uh, sure, they will. Anyway, so that February wrap- February fourteenth, two thousand and seventeen. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I know what I'm doing Valentine's Day. Mm-hmm. Um, so that wraps up Ubisoft uh, grades. Um, I mean, there wasn't much there, but what they did have, they did have solid quali- material. They did have some quality materials. Yeah, I kind of just want to like just like B minus it because I really think For Honor was really impressive, but the rest of the show was like a D because it was very <laughs> you know? like it's For weird Honor. because they're always just like oh huh, dick and fart jokes, right? Yeah, you know? they're, like they're and kind then of course they're like yeah, or they, and then yeah. um, Aisha Tyler with like that really weird dance thing that opened <laughs> off and <laughs> kicked off the also. show, um, and then she had like a very heartfelt speech about um, the victims in Orlando. Yeah, and that was and cool. And then there's like this weird Harley Quinn looking girl behind her is like. Yeah, smiling while they're talking about it, and I was promoting like, promoting doom and gloom. It's like, it's like not the time. <laughs> Just take it down a little bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so B minus. What do you What do you got? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll give it a B. Yeah, Gordy. For honor, if, for honor is what did it for me. So if yeah. a game like Steep is something I had to talk about to get their conference going, yeah, it's pretty low. I'm gonna say, mm. uh, I'm gonna point. say C yeah. for the overall conference, but I'm extremely excited for uh, For Honor. Mm-hmm. I think I give it a B minus just on the simple fact that they gave For Honor such a big showcase. That means that Ubisoft believes in the title, and I'm mm. very excited about the. I was worried for a minute that they weren't really gonna stand behind it too much. Yeah, because it's, like, it's a, you know it's a, yeah. it's a very in the, today's gaming it's a risky yeah. it's a risky title. So I'm excited that mm-hmm. they gave it such a big. The showcase and uh, fractured uh, anus looks very exciting to me. Yeah, so B minus there. Fractured. <laughs> <laughs>